Hello everyone, welcome to Rise of Patience. Today in the morning, I opened Discord and noticed some players were arguing how bad Lakota is. I knew it is time to bake a build order video exploring how to use Lakota in the early game, which is mostly where they differ with other civilizations. I hope after this video, new players can appreciate the powerhouse that Lakota is. Stay tuned. First thing with Lakota is to take all your existing villagers and put them to scouting. You will also use the next 5 villagers that you produce for scouting. Get Civic 1 as soon as you have abundance of food ruins while maintaining at least 2 villagers in the queue. The key is that you always have villagers queued up and also keep scouting. Get a city in a safe place where you can get wood and metal. Immediately go Commerce 1 if you have the resources. Build a market wherever you have a rare resource closest. In this case, I don't see a rare resource near any of my cities, so I just place it in my second city. Deciding which rares to use is the key. First, only use rares that have either wealth or knowledge. Go for food rares only when they are very close to you, else skip them. In this case, I will just use my villager spam to get more village uh, food income. Also, place a market in the other city so that you can get more wealth income. Now that you've reached 100 food, all you need to do is get your military one, place a barracks if you need to, and click on the age button. As soon as you age, place a senate, university, and a stable from the university. Infinite Q scholars to get up the knowledge income. Research a government. Senator is my personal favorite since you can easily get up to 200 food income with Lakota. Then place your metal mine and now keep spamming villagers as much as you like. If you make enough villagers and cavalry, you will be reaching 200 eco in no time. For Nomad, the overall idea is very similar, just the build order is different. You go first Commerce 1, Civic 1 and Military 1 in Nomad. Based on your situation, you may get Science Wound first, but know that it's risky if you don't get a lot of ruins afterwards in Nomad. I hope this tutorial was helpful in making the best use out of Lakota for you. Good luck and try this out in an intermediate or even a pro game.